Next thing I'm going to do is start setting wall cabinets. So I'm going to go to Component, Load Family, Casework, Wall Cabinets. And this time I'm looking for an upper cabinet corner. There's a tall cabinet. There's a small cabinet. Use a small cabinet. Hit Open. Now I'm going to just come over and drop this on. Oh, that's not the right one. Let's go in there and find it. Upper cabinet unit 12 inch. That's fine. I'm going to drop this against the wall and say, well, wait a minute, that's not the right location. That's not going to look right. So space bar and turn it and now drag it against the second wall until it drops in position. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a upper cabinet and to fill in this space. If you don't know the size of this space, you can go to annotate and actually then just dimension it. See, oh, that's one foot. So I'm going to use a 12 inch cabinet to fill in this area. So the next cabinet can be a 24. So we'll grab component. I think I saw that upper cabinet single door here. There's a 12 inch. And then come over and drop that in position. Now I'm ready to start the 24. So again, I'm going to go back to uh, components, uh, load family. So I have a 24 inch, so upper cabinet single door. I want to get, a, I think, a double door. If I go back to the drawing, look at the elevation view, I can see that this is a double door cabinet. And that's what it's calling out. I'm going to go back to Revit. I'm going to go back to Architecture, Component, and Place Cabinet, Load Family, Casework, and find this next wall cabinet. Upper cabinet, double door wall, hit OK. I'm just bringing all these cabinets in here. So this is going to be a 24 inch unit. Select it against the wall and drop it in place. Okay, the next cabinet is going to be a cabinet that's going to sit on top of the range itself. It'll be up here on top of the range, and then the microwave will then uh, seat itself underneath of the cabinet. If I go back and look at the elevation view, I can see the elevation here. This is what it would look like. So this is the cabinet above uh, the microwave, and then the microwave would be mounted underneath of the cabinet, and then the hood uh, for exhaust fumes is mounted or is uh, part of the microwave underneath. So this is going to be upper cabinet double door. Uh, it's going to be two foot six, so 30 inches in width, so it's all in line with the range below. So we'll go in here in the Revit, and I'm going to go ahead and go to components, load family, again, casework, wall cabinets, and now I'm looking for an upper cabinet, but I want to get an upper cabinet. I want to see that they have an upper cabinet that's a shorter upper cabinet, and I don't see that. So that's when I'm going to have to go in, and I'm going to use the upper cabinet double door. So I'm going to get into the upper cabinet double door. I'm going to hit edit type. And now I'm going to save this. I'm going to duplicate this one. And it's going to be a 24 inch. And then I'm going to call this, uh, it's 24 inches, and I'm going to call this a uh, short cabinet. The reason I'm going to do this is because I'm going to utilize and change the height of the cabinet so that the height of the cabinet is a little shorter. I'm going to keep the top of the cabinets aligned, but I'm going to then have a shorter cabinet. Because this is a shorter cabinet, I need to know some information here. How far down should I come? Well, I'm going to come down probably half the depth of the cabinet that it's next to. So you've got to find out what's the overall height and then come down half that depth. I'm going to go back here into Revit. I'm going to take a look at this. The height of the cabinet right now is two foot six, so it's a 30 inch tall cabinet. So I'm going to then go ahead and make this 15 inches in height. So at 15 inches in height, I'm going to still have a depth of one foot, and the width is still going to be 24, but that now needs to be 26. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to be two foot six because it needs to be 30 inches. And I'm going to have to go in and just rename this because it's no longer a 24 short it's going to be a 30 inch short. So I've gone ahead and renamed that. Now that I also know that it's going to be 15 inches. Probably also, instead of calling it short, why don't I rename this and call this 30 by 15 short cabinet. That way it gives me a little more information about what the size is with the part when I'm looking at it in a list. So I'll go ahead and hit OK. Now that I have this set up, I can go ahead and OK again. And now I'm ready to start setting the cabinet. Notice I'm in my elevation view because I want this to be able to be aligned from what would be the top of the cabinet. So I just slide over, hits the other side of the cabinet, slide up, and then I get some alignment adjustments that show up, that blue dotted line, and then I click. If I close this view, whoops, I just dropped the cabinet up there. <laughs> if I close the view, I can see that I have a dotted line, which is representing the edge of the cabinet, and I have one above the range. I now have that cabinet set in position. So I go back to my elevation view, Take a look at what I have here, and there's my cabinet. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and get a microwave and then mount that underneath of the cabinet. So we'll go back to component, load family. We're going to go and we're going to find specialty equipment, again domestic, and then see if we can find, there is our microwave. Grab that, hit open. With the microwave there in position, we're going to look and see now it's not seeing this. It's not going to allow it to mount to this particular surface. So again, I'm going to then just go ahead and go back to my level one. And now I should be able to do the same thing again, component microwave. And I'm going to want to then figure out the front and the back. So that would be the back. And I'm going to slide it underneath of where the cabinet should be and drop it in position. I want to see where it ended up. So I'm going to go back and look at my elevation and see that now it looks like it's sitting on top of the range. I'm going to then just select it, grab my move tool, and I'm going to move it using my endpoint up to the bottom of the cabinet. That microwave is now in position, and you can see now how to start elevating your particular, whether it's going to be an appliance, whether it's going to be an under cabinet light, or whether it's going to be anything like that, you can usually, usually utilize uh, that elevation view. The other thing I notice here is I'd really like to have this cabinet the same height as all of my other cabinets. This short cabinet is just pretty short. So I'm going to get back into that while I'm in here and edit the type. And I'm going to go ahead and say the height of this is two feet. I'm going to go ahead and then say, let's make this two feet, six inches. Hit apply. See, that actually went up. So the head height went up because the top of the cabinet's at seven feet. So I'm going to then change that. I'm going to select the cabinet, grab my move tool. And I'm going to move that down so all the tops of the cabinets align and all the bottoms of the cabinets align. That way I can now start working and I can work in two different views. I can work in that uh, top view and, and in that section view as well. Might also be valuable if I wanted to set up both of these views at the same time. Uh, I can go into view. I can first close hidden and then I can double click on my level one and then tile both views. So let's do this again because I never... I don't need to have uh, this other drawing open here, so I want to save changes there now. Shut down that other drawing, and then I can actually now tile both views. I can now see what's happening in my top view and in my elevation view as I'm working at the same time in real time. This is going to be good to do because as I start building this half wall that's going to end up here, that half wall is going to require me to see what's happening in both views. All right, so that's the next thing we can start working on is setting up a half wall that we are then going to be able to base our base cabinets and our sink and the other information uh, or the other uh, cabinetry that we're going to need here. So this is going to be this half wall that we're going to start working with right here. And we're going to start with a wall and then a countertop and set the rest of the cabinets. So that's what we're going to work on next.